Good morning, friends. How are you today? Um, I wanted to come today and talk to you a little bit about deep pressure. So last week we talked about proprioception and how um, some input to our proprioceptive system and our muscles and our joints can have a relaxing effect and kind of a calming effect for our bodies. So another way to get that relaxing and calming effect is through deep pressure. So in our skin, we all have light touch receptors on the surface of our skin, and then we we have deep pressure receptors in um, a little deeper in our skin and so that's responsible for feeling those deep pressure touches those deep touches that we might um, that we might experience so um, you know, we all, you know, moms and dads and adults that are listening, we all like uh, massages, right? Um, so uh, a good massage gets at those deep pressure receptors in our skin, and it has a relaxing effect. It helps us to calm down, and it and it's relaxing, right? So yesterday, I was on my feet all day. When I got home, my feet and my legs were really tired, and so I decided to sit down, and I have a little kind of machine that I can put my feet in and get a little foot massage, and I got started getting really, really sleepy. So it felt really good on my muscles and my feet, but it also just made me really, really tired and really relaxed. And so I got a little sleepy as I sat down and kind of got my massage for the evening. So, um... So, but in the same regard, um, for our kiddos, if their systems are kind of in overdrive, if um, any kids are feeling anxious or just kind of overstimulated or if there's a lot going on and they start to get into that kind of just like... Um, fight or flight mode where they're just, you know, a little bit, um, their senses are heightened and their bodies, um, just kind of can't sit still. We can use deep pressure to calm that down a little bit. So there's a lot of different ways to do deep pressure. Um, one of the easiest and simplest ways is just through a hug. So uh, sometimes our kids just need a good squeeze, right? So we can just give them a nice, squeeze, you know, nice tight hug, and that might kind of just like calm that down. We can also take our hands and kind of, you know, squeeze their arms a little bit, put our hands on their shoulders, and just kind of give them a little deep pressure, and that might just have a simple calming effect. I've had some kids in my OT clinic that really like their head squeeze, um, and it sounds kind of funny, but sometimes a good head squeeze can just have be the right thing that a kid needs to just calm down. Um, so those are just some simple ways that you can use your hands. You know, you can give your kids a massage or just massage their feet or their legs or, you know, again, just kind of give them some good squeezes, right? Um, if your kids might not like being touched as much or if that doesn't feel as comfortable, um, you can also use things like um, blankets or weighted lap pads. So we all have heard a lot about weighted blankets. They're all kind of out in the um, department stores now. I see weighted blankets everywhere. And the reason that weighted blankets work and, and are relaxing and feel good is because they're activating those deep pressure receptors, receptors in our skin. So by the same token, um, kids might like to have kind of a weighted blanket or um, because kids are, are smaller, um, sometimes they don't even need the weight, but like a big comforter or a big blanket can just feel really good. So you might have kids that just like to get all snuggled up under a lot of blankets. And the reason that they like that is because it kind of relaxes them. All that all that pressure, all that weight on them um, helps to relax them. You can also get weighted lap pads to kind of put on their lap, even while they're sitting at a desk doing their schoolwork. You can um, make or get weighted shoulder pads pads that just go over the shoulders and again provide that deep pressure that um, that you could otherwise do with your hands but maybe a, a, a pad or a shoulder shoulder roll um, might do that as well again while they're sitting at their desk or doing their work or sitting at the dinner table you know whatever where wherever they are that they need just kind of a little bit of calming um, that's what you know that's a great option um, Another option, if again, again, you don't even need to use weight. Um, so you know they make compression vests as well. Um, so sometimes if I have kids that you know really need a lot of calming, we might use a compression vest or something during our OT session. Um, but kind of a. a cheap or easy easy hack for that is um, just to take like a tight undershirt and have your kids wear a tight undershirt, um, sometimes even an Under Armour or like a swim shirt um, underneath their regular clothes just provides a little bit of compression to their body um, and it and it can feel good and kind of have a calming effect. Same um, with the legs, you can use tights for, for girls, like wear, wear some tight um, 
you know, tights under their pants or tights with a dress or anything like that, um, or leggings or things like that. Um, boys, you can buy like compression shorts to go under, under pants and under shorts, um, that might just, again, have that kind of calming effect, um, that we're looking for to get that deep pressure in there. So, um, again, lots of options. I would love to answer any questions if anyone has one. Um, the last thing I will highlight is that, um, a fun way and in your playtime and in your, um, you know, just when you're playing at your house, a fun way to get some deep pressure is through bean bags. So obviously we can sit in bean bags and read a book and play in bean bags. Hi, but do you want to jump in the bean bag? Can you show everybody how you jump? No. Ready? Set, no. Um, so this is our big bean bag right here. Um, this isn't necessarily made for um, Jacob. First, well, see, there you go. He crashed in the bean bag. Um, so. Um, Bean bags are a great way to just kind of play and get that deep pressure when you're playing. So my kids love to jump and crash into the bean bags. Um, our bean bag isn't necessarily the most sensory um, bean bag out there um, on the market. There are some great options if your kid does need some extra like sensory input through um, through a bean bag or something like that. So I can lead you in the right direction if you have any questions about that too. But um, but again, jumping and crashing in a bean bag, jumping on you know, I hate to say it, but jumping on the couch cushions, um, building a fort or, um, just smushing between some pillows and just come up with a game, make it a game. Um, you know, make a, make a kid sandwich, um, in between some two big pillows and, um, give them a little squeeze that way. So anyway, um, I'd love to answer any questions that you might have, um, and offer any suggestions if you're feeling like your kid might need some deep pressure, um, input and just find some ways to do that. So, um, leave some questions or, or in the comments and um, just let me know what your thoughts are and I will check in with you tomorrow. Thanks. Have a great day.